Let's see. How about we go to Mark? Arlington, Virginia, the great WMAL. Go. Hey, Mark. How's it going, man? All right. Thank you. Hey, let me ask you something. So um, the whole this whole issue with Susan Rice came up because um, McCain and, and the other guy said that they they were going to give her hell basically if if she's tried if if Obama puts her up as Secretary of State correct they said they're going to oppose her because of her misleading statements on all these shows among other things okay among other things but do you agree with that do you agree that she should be opposed yes all right so then you also agree well why why would you give a promotion to somebody like that Okay, so you also agree that Colin Powell, Rumsfeld, and Condoleezza I'm no, Rice... I'm no, I'm no Colin Powell f- fan. I understand. So you also agree that all of them should resign for being wrong about weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. You know, I heard Beckel use this, and you guys think that's clever. Here's the difference. Nobody altered the intelligence information. The U.S. intelligence information, German intelligence, French intelligence, British intelligence, and Israeli intelligence all had the same thing. Nobody altered anything, and nobody was involved in the cover-up. Do you see the difference? The views. It was a different point. You're talking right over me, aren't you, Mark? No, I'm not. Because you, you, you don't want your left-field question answered, do you? No, I don't have a problem. I just answered question, didn't I? I just told you the two circumstances are completely different. No, but I'm telling you that... Hold on, hold on now. We still don't know what the president knew. He won't tell us. It was different points of views about the weapons of mass destruction. No, it wasn't different points of view yes, about the weapons was. of mass Maybe, Maybe internally, but Colin nobody changed... Even said... All right, lower them. Nobody changed talking points. Nobody went on and lied over and over again knowing the truth. Now, you can say Colin Powell had bad information. You can't say Susan Rice had bad information, not based on what we know now. She knew, as it turns out, CBS is reporting today, what the original information was. Then it was changed. Then she was the propagandist for it. You see the difference? You don't know for sure. No, you don't. Get out of here. Nothing I say will convince him. I'm not going to waste my time anymore. And also, Mr. Call Screener, he lied to you to get on, didn't he? And why lie to me? I'm happy to talk to libs and drones from time to time. I'm happy to talk to people who actually disagree with me. But don't keep repeating your talking points. One more time. The Bush administration didn't lie about weapons of mass destruction. The Bush administration didn't lie about intelligence information. The Bush administration acted on its intelligence information. The Obama administration dismissed and changed its intelligence information. As of today, the president has talked out of both sides of his mouth. On the one hand, he says he knew early on it was a terrorist operation. Out of the other side of his mouth, for days and days and days, said he didn't. Bush never acted like that. Rumsfeld never acted like that. Powell never acted like that. And they didn't go out front and purposely mislead the American people knowing something different, did they? No, they didn't. Clever, but not so clever, really. And that's the line the White House is putting out, by the way. I've heard Beckel use it. I'm hearing other people using it now. And when people use stuff like that, they're in full cover-up mode. I still think a three-, four-minute question with the president requiring short, crisp answers is really what we need. We're chasing all these other issues, but it all comes back to him. And we can't get an answer out of the president of the United States two and a half months later. The families of those who were killed, can't get answers out of the President of the United States two and a half months later. That's a disgrace. No president has gotten away with that. No president should. 